The headline I worry about is the one that says 100,000 refrigerators attack Bank of America. You know, it's not a silly headline because the computers that we use today to build into appliances may actually turn out to be pretty powerful machines. So, who are you? Oh, my name is Vince Cerf. Mm -hmm. I'm Google's chief internet evangelist and the, one of the fathers of the internet. So in 2008, uh, you were part of a group called Internet for Everyone, and they called for a uh, national broadband policy for the U.S. to solve sort of this issue of the digital divide. And I'm wondering, since then, what has changed? Well, there is more broadband available, but I don't think that we have done justice to the problem. There's still a lot of the United States, especially in the rural parts of the country, that don't have access to broadband that should. There are several things, however, that are starting to come along that might change that equation dramatically. Usually when you think broadband, you think, okay, optical fiber and things like that. But now at Google, we're thinking about putting balloons at 60,000 feet and raining LTE down on everybody carrying IP packets. There are low-flying satellites in addition to that that are also proposed but not yet up there. So I'm beginning to see some real movement in alternatives to conventional delivery of broadband service. How far along are these projects, and how confident are you that they are uh, a solution that is going to, uh, going to work? Well, Loon is still part of our Google X uh, team, so that means it's still a highly speculative activity. SpaceX, by the way, is also very interested in putting satellites in low orbit. The project which has uh, made most progress is called O3B, which stands for Other 3 Billion. These are relatively low flying, they're at 8,000 kilometers, uh, and they can reach almost any place on Earth. So that's the most advanced project. I would guess by the end of this decade that we will see a lot of different opportunities and alternatives for people with, at costs that are affordable. So although it's taken longer than I would like, it feels like the second derivative is positive. So we've talked a little bit about uh, countries that perhaps don't have as developed access to internet as we do here in North America. What about countries where there is access to internet, but that access is mediated or filtered in such a way? Um, in your view, how much longer can uh, you know, the filtering and sort of blocking and, and surveilling of content in certain countries continue? Uh, it will continue. Uh, those countries that are concerned about what people can do with internet and with related technologies have good reason to be concerned. And if you watch the so-called Arab Spring, you found a lot of people saying how proud they were that they used Facebook and tweeting and so on in order to incite revolution. I think that we will see countries continue, authoritarian regimes especially, uh, concerned about what people can do and how much information they can share. I, have, I harbor this hope as a technologist, however, that this can't go on forever and that there will be tools available to let people make their conversations private on an end-to-end -end basis and to tunnel under or over or outside uh, the constrained environment. And certainly some of the satellite ideas and the balloon ideas we talked about have the potential to open up what would otherwise be a very closed environment. Um, do you find that sort of recent high-profile incidents, sort of like the... Um, the Office of uh, Personnel Management I was going to say OPM, example, yes. yes. Having been, I am one of the victims of that. Really? Uh, well, I am a special government employee, and therefore all of that stuff, including my fingerprints, uh, were part of the record. This is a wake-up call. And it should be a wake-up call for everybody, not just in the U.S. We have to start building systems that are a lot more secure and a lot safer. And if we don't do that, people will lose trust in the internet if they haven't already, in which case its utility will begin to dissipate. So the problem is serious and severe, deserves a lot of attention.